Ever wondered why the male narcissist in your life just can't seem to get over you? It's a question that has intrigued many. There's a certain obsession that narcissists, particularly males, tend to have with women. It's a complex mix of spiritual and practical reasons, a cocktail of 10 distinct factors that we'll be exploring in the duration of this video. So are you ready to unravel this enigma? Stick around as we delve into the top 10 reasons why narcissists are obsessed with you. First off, the narcissist's need for control. It's a compulsion for them to have dominance over everything, including your life. They want to dictate your actions, your thoughts, even your feelings. Their obsession with you is often a manifestation of this desire for control. Moving on to the second reason, their desire for validation. Narcissists have an inflated sense of self-importance, but it's a fragile ego that needs constant stroking. They see you as a source of that validation. Your attention, your admiration, your love, these all feed their ego, making them feel important and superior. The third reason is their fear of abandonment. Despite their grandiose self-image, narcissists are deeply insecure. They fear being left alone, being unloved, being insignificant. They latch on to you because they see you as someone who can prevent that fear from becoming a reality. Next up, their need for a supply of attention. Narcissists are like vampires. They draw life from the attention of others. You, my dear, are their prime source. Your attention gives them the energy they need to maintain their false self. They are obsessed with you because you are their lifeblood. And finally, their inability to accept rejection. Narcissists cannot tolerate being rejected. It shatters their illusions of grandeur and they simply cannot handle it. If you've tried to break away, their obsession could be a desperate attempt to avoid that rejection to maintain their illusion of control and superiority. But that's not all. There are still five more reasons we need to explore. Ready for the final five reasons? Here they are. First, let's dive into the narcissist's lack of empathy. This is a cornerstone of their personality. They struggle to empathize with others, to step into their shoes and feel their feelings. This lack of empathy is often mistaken for strength, but in reality, it's a weakness, a blind spot that keeps them tethered to their obsession. Next, we have their obsession with their own image. Narcissists are like mirrors, always reflecting their own image, always seeking validation. They are obsessed with how others perceive them. And when they latch onto you, you become a part of that image, a part of their narrative, another reflection of their self-importance. Our third reason is their need to manipulate others. Narcissists are puppet masters, constantly pulling the strings, manipulating others to serve their needs. They thrive on control, on bending others to their will. You, in their eyes, are another piece on their chessboard, another pawn in their game. Fourth, we have their inability to understand others' feelings. Narcissists live in a world of their own, a world where their feelings are the only ones that matter. They are unable to comprehend the depth and complexity of others' emotions. This inability to understand fuels their obsession as they attempt to mold you into their narrow understanding of what a person should be. Lastly, we have their fear of being alone. Beneath their grandiose exterior, narcissists are deeply afraid of solitude. They crave constant attention, constant validation. To them, you are a lifeline, a source of validation they fear losing. Understanding these reasons is the first step to responding effectively. So how can you respond to a narcissist who's obsessed with you? Well, it begins with setting clear boundaries. Let him know where the line is drawn. If necessary, don't hesitate to seek professional help. There are experts who understand this predicament. Cutting off contact where possible is another effective strategy. Prioritize self-care because your well-being is paramount. Remember, you are not alone in this struggle, and with the right tools and supports, you can navigate this challenging situation with strength and resilience.